What is up everyone? Today on Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures, I need to get to a rest area. I came down with something. I was like getting a little sick a couple days and now I'm just like wrecked out of nowhere. Feel just groggy, feel pukey, feel headache. It's like a weird, I don't get sick too often, but I need to go get a rest, get to a rest area and relax, hopefully sleep it off. Um, and then keep hustling tomorrow. Um, yeah so let's go let's go let's go made it to the rest area luckily it was only 15 minutes away it was funny like i was at first saying yeah i'm open for a run and then i told my wife like i even drank an espresso which i haven't drank one for like two weeks and i still was like tired you know i got okay sleep not the best sleep last night so maybe too i just need to sleep this sucker off and i'll keep you guys posted in the morning how i'm feeling hopefully Hopefully it's good because this has been a really good run. Good money. So hopefully it goes good. Uh, let's set this bed up though. Let's get ready to relax. I'm going to lay down. I'm probably going to pass out instantly. guys i'm gonna go to bed good night i need to uh, need to i'll get you guys in the morning and tell you how i feel what is up you guys i slept on and off for about 13 hours which i am not that kind of a sleeper i sleep five six usually i'm like that's the way my brain works but i feel better a lot better just when i cough my head hurts but so far but i'm trying to not jinx anything but you know where we're at. We're at the gym. We got to work out. I think it'll be good, though, to get my blood flowing. I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm going to get some more water. Probably get some ibuprofen Tylenol in here, too. Um, you know, still on that hustle. We got the Timberwolves game Friday, and those were expensive tickets. They're, like, fifth row. So got to get home for that. But other than that, going to see what happens today. So far, feeling better, like I said. So that's good. But uh, let's get in there, and let's go work out. What is up you guys after working out for a while i know i got some good steps and good calories burned but we got one he says almost for sure <clears throat> from lake forest illinois to sioux falls south dakota and it's total miles bro all the way from pickup and that's what we try to do and then drop off in sioux falls south dakota and then all the way back to my home 90 cents a mile i'll i'll, I'll have more details about the exact amount <clears throat> I'm feeling a little better for sure today. Got some espresso. That's really helping because I don't know what's going on with me, but I feel way better today. Like, way better. I slept 13 hours on and off last night, which is crazy for me, like I said before. But I'm going to go. I need to go get some food too so I can be geared up and ready for this run. Hopefully, we really got it. We'll keep you guys posted. If we don't got it, we don't got it. But it seems pretty sure. For sure. So anyways, let's get rolling and I'll keep you guys posted if I find once I find out more details about it, but that's all I know so far. Thank you. All right, let's go. I think I got it. 
sometimes this can happen where you like almost for sure have it so hopefully nothing wonky happens but either way i'm gonna eat feeling better today just walked i checked i did 350 calories for a 200 pound man so that's good too so let's let's eat this and let's uh see if we for sure got this good one at 90 cents per mile all the way to home so it's official we did get it they were just moving slow we've gotten a couple loads from these guys so we knew they were good but this one's 760 dollars for 500 and some miles and then with the deadhead or whatever getting home it was like another 100 miles so it's a good run dude good run um and then i'm gonna i'm gonna because at first it was it was you know i'm getting paid to even go home after that because you know sioux falls doesn't have the most but it can have loads and there's not a lot of vans there that's why i say there's so many factors of people when there's places that aren't the best for loads there's actually it's an advantage too because sometimes those loads that come out there's no independent contractors around so i'm gonna wake up there tomorrow because i got the timberwolves game tomorrow and uh I would just get home at a decent time because either way those miles are paid for so we'll see what happens with that adventure but anyways i'm gonna start heading that way go pick this sucker up and yeah so everything's all good so let's go let's go let's go let's go i'm losing my mind We just arrived for pickup here in Illinois. Um, there might be an address change, but that's always good. Um, usually that's good either more miles. We'll see what happens, more money. Um, let me see, this one is five pounds, one piece, 12 by 10 by six, 553 miles with a deadhead of 50 miles for $760. So really good, good one. Oh no, it's closer. That's why uh, it's it's going to be a closer drop off, so more money for a closer drop off. But I'll keep you guys posted. Let's go see if we can get loaded up. <clears throat> we are all loaded up, man. It's a big load. Watch this, packed to the brim. That's it. That's uh seven seven hundred and sixty dollars for like. Now it's changing to like four hundred and some miles. But uh, let me uh, let me see what's up. But yeah, that's the thing, guys. There is money out here. This has been a really good week. You know, we had those couple slower weeks where we're still making our minimum eight hundred, but picking up again. So it's cool. But I learned a lesson now. When there were those killer weeks where I was making twelve hundred dollars profit in three days, now when it's those hot times of the season, I'm gonna or just any week, I'm gonna stay out till for, for five days, like I have been because those i could have been i could have probably pulled in 16 1700 that week and then yeah like then that makes up for the slower weeks as the season slows down between winter to spring summer but anyways i'm gonna pull up here so i'm not in their in their way right now and uh yeah start heading towards drop off but yeah feeling better today too man slowly i'm just feeling better and better oh baby and then yeah see what see what's popping where i'm going after this so let's start driving let's keep listening to podcasts <clears throat> another quick update so what happened was so we tried to keep it the same rate they were like oh well it's a couple hundred miles less um but we kept it instead of doing 90 cents total miles where i was going to go there and go home we ended up doing it where it's total miles going back to my home in uh in minnesota i almost said the exact town i live in i try to not do that um but anyway so i still will get 590 and with driving those less miles and i might get one tonight from that area because that area deals with minnesota a lot because it's really close to us it's like 80 miles from my house and then if not, I'm gonna wake up in the morning, see if I can get one more, cause we got the Wolves game this Friday, but it worked out. We make more money, it's less miles, and I'm still coming off of that sickness, but I do feel way better today. But it's like the perfect, perfect opportunity. It's cool. Um, so definitely excited. Um, it's about a six hour drive, a little, little nothing, a little nothing of a drive. Um, it's funny, some people will be hitting me up like, I, when I drove straight truck, I wanted those 10 hour drives and just like whatever, like, and I always, I like the long ones. Um, 
I won't say on here how long I've driven before on directs, but that's the thing is like, I, I like the longer the drive, just zone out, listen to shows or listen to podcasts. But anyways, enough of the talking, let's get to driving. So when is this rain going to stop? Um, but anyways, let's get driving. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, what is up you guys? Yeah, this should be a quick drop off. It's just this box. You'd hope. Uh, after this, I'm probably just heading home. I'm feeling way better today, but still not the sexiest, but we'll see. So it looks like a pretty secured building, but we'll see if it couldn't just be a quick drop off. Uh, keep you guys posted. That one good. Easy drop off. Security was really nice. Really nice lady. You gotta love it when they're like cool and chill. I mean, you know, security guards, it's funny, you can run into two types, crabby or not crabby. Oh, what? I'm in Iowa. Make a U-turn. And check this out. Minnesota Vikings. In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Eisenhower Avenue, Mallard That's Avenue. That's really cool. I had to stop and take a picture of my Minnesota Vikings trailer. Um, so yeah, that one went good, good drop off. Oh, but I was going to say... I said sign and print your name, full name, because with factoring companies and brokers and stuff, they can get real picky if it's not legible. And he signed, printed his name, and then I had to ask, I said, what is your full name? Because it was so, it was so, even his printed name was so scribbly. And I do that because I've learned there's been times where they're like, oh, well, we need the full name exact, so just make sure you're very adamant on that. I even had, I know, a long time ago you guys might have seen it where these people just like flat out were like I'm not doing it it was really weird like they were like I'm not printing my full name and it was so weird um they stamped it and everything and signed it but they were just not having printing Head their north name towards South Eisenhower and that was crazy but just always make sure they print their full name very legible and usually sometimes I'll just be like all right thanks anyway or not thanks anyways but what I was trying to say, geez, I'm still sick a little. I always say you need to print your full name, like, or, and then I'll say, what is your full name? So if there's any questioning, you can say it's this. But anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm just glad that you're here. Hope you got something from this. I like showing these because I like showing people what it's like living it. But anyways, you guys have a blessed day. And most of all, keep hustling.